Hello guys, today I'm again back with another new drug approved by FDA in 2020 and that drug is Remegepant. And this drug guys has been approved for treatment of an acute attack of migraine. So what this drug is all about guys, Remegepant is similar to another drug, Ubrogepant, also approved last year. And both these drugs are CGRP receptor antagonists guys. So the current trend is drugs the current trend is development of drugs acting against either CGRP ligand or CGRP receptor. So let us see what we target here. Like as you can see here, these blue color balls here, these are CGRP ligands. And for these, we have receptors here, CGRP receptor. So I can target this um, ligand, CGRP ligand, by giving monoclonal antibodies, aptinezumab, guys, I discussed a few days back. And the older drugs of 2019, these are galcanizumab and framanezumab. Whereas CGRP receptor antagonist, we have a drug here called as Arenumab and a drug which is approved last year that is called as Ubrogepant. And the current drug which I'm discussing here is Remegepant. So, as here, out of these drugs, if I talk about the uses of these drugs, then aptinozumab and all other drugs. So all these monoclonal antibodies, guys, their root is parenteral, and they are only used for prophylaxis of migraine. Whereas obrogepant and remegepant, these are oral drugs which are used for treatment of an acute attack of migraine, guys. Right. So these are the recent drugs approved for migraine, and these are very important for the Central Institute exams like AIMS, GIPMA, PGI, and also NIMANS, guys. In NIMANS, these drugs will be asked. Right, guys. So, what is the route of administration of remegepant, guys? Remegepant, uh, it is given by oral route, like as I said, like obrogepant. It is given by oral route, and the dose is 75 milligrams for a particular attack. It is given at a dose of 75 milligrams. It does not cause grave side effects, but yes, nausea can be seen with these drugs. Contraindication, guys. This drug is extensively metabolized by liver, and that is why it is contraindicated in patients with severe uh, hepatic impairment. Uh, for example, in patients of cirrhosis. Second, it is metabolized by microsomal enzymes like CYP3A4. And that is the reason why it should never be given with either enzyme inducers or inhibitors of CYP3A4. Guys, so this is what we have to discuss today. A new drug, Remegepant, approved by FDA for treatment of an acute attack of migraine. Guys, so I'll keep on posting these new stuffs, new drugs, updates in pharmacology, guys, from time to time. And so that you get notified on time guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link all right guys see you next time till then bye bye take care